30 psychological facts about 95% of women get horny. 1. The fact that women are more sensitive to visual stimuli than males is the reason why they are more drawn to an appealing face than they are to any other personal characteristic. When it comes to their personal sexual fulfillment, women have a stronger thirst for sexual activity than men do. 3. The majority of women, 69%, cite imaginations as the primary source of their desire and arousal. This indicates that fantasies have a significant impact in the levels of arousal that women experience. 4. Compared to males, women are more prone to experience feelings of embarrassment while revealing their sexual wants. As a result, they may be less willing to share their desires during discussions or even when engaging in sexual activity. 5. There have been studies that have indicated that when women are given explicit sexual pictures or tales, they are more likely to get aroused than males who only respond in the same manner to 85% of the time. 6. The pleasure regions in women's brains are more readily stimulated by light touches than they are by the touch of a man. This is because women are normally far more sensitive to the sensations that are perceived via physical contact. 7. A new research discovered that the hormone oxytocin, which is produced during physical contact such as hugs and embraces, provides women with a higher level of sexual confidence and enjoyment from sexual activity than was previously believed to be possible. 8. The hormone testosterone is important for libido in both sexes, however, women have the ability to naturally create up to 10 times as much as men do. This may be the reason why women are more likely to seek physical touch after making love than men do. 9. The peak feelings of certain orgasms are more intense than those of others, and they are accompanied by additional dramatic bodily consequences, such as an elevated heart rate, breathing rate and muscular spasms that continue longer in females than they do in men during climaxes. And in general, the female orgasm is often accomplished by direct clitoral stimulation, Nevertheless, there are many different methods to achieve it depending on the individual's anatomy and preferences. Thus, it is not always the case to assume that solutions that are universally applicable are the most effective or the most effective. 11. However, research has shown that individuals who participate in oral sex report greater levels of overall pleasure. This may imply that foreplay is just as vital or perhaps more crucial than actual intercourse for certain women. Oral sex is sometimes considered to be taboo among partners. 12. However, studies have shown that females engage their prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for decision-making, during arousal, whilst men stimulate the amygdala, which is concerned with emotional processing. This is despite the fact that the brain plays a significant part in arousal for both genders. Taking this into consideration, it is possible that we need permission before acting on our impulses or inclinations more than males do. Then, when compared to the majority of men, the typical woman need around 20 minutes of foreplay before attaining orgasm, while the majority of men only require approximately 8 minutes. Because of this, it is essential to understand each other's requirements in order to guarantee that both parties have pleasure. 14. As a result of their greater capacity for arousal, females are more likely to have many orgasms. This may be related to the fact that females are able to keep their genital blood flow going for a much longer period of time following an initial orgasmic episode than their male counterparts. 15. There are twice as many nerve endings in the clitoris as there are in the penis. This is the reason why some women have reported experiencing very delightful feelings during clitoral stimulation on its own without participating in any sort of penetration at all. 16. Convergent thinking, which refers to the capacity to solve complicated issues in a short amount of time, is more prevalent in women when they are aroused. But divergent thinking, which refers to the generation of innovative ideas in a short amount of time, is more prevalent in men. It might mean that you should stimulate your partner's imagination by concentrating on various portions of their body before participating in sexual activity with them. 17 aromas such as lavender and rosemary are used by women not only because they have a pleasant scent, but also because breathing them causes physiological changes that are connected with relaxation and serenity. This makes them ideal for precursor activities when women are attempting to get into an amorous mood. 
18 different neurotransmitters including serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin and endorphins are examples of hormones. 18. Women are more likely to get aroused promptly when they are in a state of relaxation and safety. 19. When it comes to preventing certain cancer diseases, research reveals that women, on average, need greater sexual activity. Having a few minutes of foreplay before engaging in sexual activity is a wonderful experience. D. Oxytocin, according to the findings of certain studies, is the hormone that causes a woman to experience an orgasmic state during sexual activity. 21. Situated around two-thirds of the way up the vagina, the G-spot is a region that, when stimulated, often results in significant pleasure. The sense of smell is a significant factor in determining the degree to which one individual is attracted to another.